Hey, if, you know, he's been sitting here so patiently, and I want to, I, no, I, no, but I want to ask, um, but just, I know, but, but I think probably some people in this room would love to hear David talk a little bit. Um, so, so I just, you, you've done this, you've done this before, but I, I, I always love to hear you describe um, your experience of, of getting on the show and, um, and what it was like from, uh, from, the, from your end of the voice booth. Uh, as I told the story to people who stopped by and asked, it, it was a strange thing, because coming from the Beast Wars uh, thing, where we, it was at 94, 93, 94, when we first started, started recording that, Beast Wars? Yeah, I, well, was I it around? It yeah, it was around that time. Yeah. That was about 99. Yeah, so we started a while ago. Um, and I didn't know too much about Transformers. I grew up with a lot of Bugs Bunny and, and Tex Avery, stuff like that. Um, so I wasn't familiar with the, with the universe. And, and uh, you know, the Megatron thing happened, and then many years of that. And, 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 and the fandom blew me away. But I didn't, the first Rochester convention you know, happened. I realized there was this whole world here I didn't know about. And then fast forward to, uh, we, were, we were contemplating a move to Los Angeles full time in 2006. And, uh, and I, I know that the, the information came through about doing uh, Transformers again. I go, oh, I got to get, I, I actually, uh, I emailed Sue Blue and I said, hey, I'm, I'm going to be, it looks like we're going to be probably moving down. If you, you know, if you can get me in, basically, he said, oh, oh, honey, oh, honey, you're, you, of, of course, oh, yeah. And so it was a, it was a big thing for me uh, going to Cartoon Network for an audition. I was very nervous. That's probably why I haven't been on any, a lot of Disney shows. I get so nervous and so anxious when I walk on that lot. You're like, oh, I'm going to screw it up. I know it, you know. Uh, but I felt, I felt comfortable at, uh, at Cartoon Network. I felt, felt pretty good. So I figured I'm going in. I'll, I'm here at Megatron. Do my Megatron. I, I think I read for, uh, for um, uh, Lug Nuts, uh, a couple of the characters in that. And they had still not found a, a voice for Optimus. Uh, they were floating around sort of a... Tom Hanksy type sort of feel or whatever, and I didn't, you know, I didn't, and I think it was Sue. I saw uh, you, you were there, right? Yeah. It was Derek, you, Marty, no, uh, uh, Matt, 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 Matt. Matt. Well, in the just, room. I'll, I'll take over from so from our perspective. Again, Derek being such a huge Beast Wars fan, uh, when he found out from Sue, oh, David's thinking of moving down to L.A. He's like, ooh, let's get him for Megatron. Let's get him for Megatron. And and um, and he auditioned for Megatron, and it, you know it was his great Megatron voice. Um, but we we were kind of going in a different direction for it, and we wanted to find something for him because it's it's David K. Um, and then we still hadn't found our, our Optimus. It was it was either too heroic or or too uh, oh gosh, you know, uh, kid. Um, and then we kind of went back and and listened to a few of the auditions, and then. I remember listening to your audition and just hearing you introduce yourself. Hi, I'm David Kay, and I'll be reading for Megatron. And I'm like, that voice could work. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, he's, uh, just, he's just talking in his awesome voice. <laughs> Everyday awesome voice. So, uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll hand it back to David, because it is very funny how he describes it from his, his perspective. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I, uh, Sue says, hey, honey, can you pick up Optimus? The side, I go, Optimus? You mean like, the, guy, the other one? The other guy? <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Uh, so I picked up the sides, and I think maybe I, I went out and had a moment, and I came back in, I think. And then, uh, yeah, it was callbacks at that, at that point. Uh, and uh, they had me come back in, and I started doing this, you know, transform and roll out, you know, Bumblebee. This, I, just sort, I just sort of my, 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 vo my own voice, but just kind of a little, you know, a little push. And, and I wasn't quite comfortable with it. Because um, he was the good guy, <laughs> and I, I, I left thinking, as most actors do, oh God, I blew it. Uh, yeah, well, forget it, you know. Uh, and I got a call a couple weeks later. I was driving through Chinatown. It's Chinatown, Jack. Forget about it. I was literally driving through Chinatown, Los Angeles, thinking about that movie. And, uh, and, and it's my agent says, hey, so um, they want to book you for Transformers. I go, oh, cool. You know, Megatron continues. Here we go. When's the date? She goes, for Optimus Prime. I go, it was like a silence. I, <laughs> so you mean like, like so sort of not Megatron? He goes, no, no, Optimus, Pri Optim Optimus Prime. <laughs> wow. And at that time, I was at Disney Concert Hall, you know, because I'd been going through Chinatown downtown. 
And it was at Disney Concert Hall, and I, I found out that I was driving by. I was Optimus Prime, and I go, I hung the phone up, and first thing I did was, <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. <laughs> you know, and the first few episodes, just trying to find who I was and, and with the direction, with the help, because I, I, I wasn't quite, I haven't landed in the character yet. It kind of takes a bit. And, I, and, I, and we hadn't quite either. Yeah, we, we were was, sort of, sort of we, back we and forth found, and feeling. You know, yeah, we found eventually, it. yeah. We tried to make him too young. And yeah, and then we... We were that, comfortable with it, and it didn't sound right. Yeah. You See, sounded young enough just using your... Right, you'll hear that in the first few episodes, and you'll, you'll, you'll notice later on. But it just every time Sue for the first half a dozen episodes, okay, Megatron and Corey Burton look up. I'd look up. I go, oh, all right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just sit back down. So, so it was an adjustment period for sure. But it's uh, it was just such an honor, and, and that cast and the people who would come in to join us at, from time to Weird Al would show up. Oh, and I go, yeah. oh Weird uh, Al. Um, I mean, Mr. Yankovic. Mr. Yeah. I mean, it was uh, so. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he's a sweetheart. Oh yeah, so so thanks for the trip, gentlemen. It's just uh, and then the toys are still blow me away. No, thank I mean, you. it's still I look at them and I'm in my studio and it's just yeah, Derek's toys.